that when things look impossible, when, think, when people are telling you it is impossible, look, nothing has changed, you're able to say, like my wife said, my situation hasn't changed, but I have changed. The I have changed comes from not a place of waiting, doing nothing. The I have changed comes from a place of actually applying obedience. Her obedience looked like, okay, God, give me wisdom. How do I pray? What do you want me to do? And actually partnering up with God on the situation. Hey, family. Took a couple days break just to let my body rest. Um, been a little pain, but feeling better. My wife called me out. Hey, everybody. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding him accountable, okay? <laughs> he has to worked out for three days, okay? And I don't know why he he stays home. And today's excuse was <laughs> <laughs> he went out for a walk. <laughs> I'm in you, pain. You oh you oh, oh my shoulder see my shoulder is so bad. <sighs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's all good. It's all good. I know she loves me. She wants the best for me. Uh, didn't work out, but got to spend some time with the family and just kind of, I don't know. It was a good weekend. I really enjoyed myself this weekend. Um, did a lot of walking, but not so much of the workout intensity. Under the night sky, full of stars. Away from all the city lights and empty charms Searching for a place for something pure and true They led me to the narrow path to you I'm about to be big night We watched... How many movies? Three Three We watched... Oh, what was the first one? Sophie was gonna sleep with us, but... She don't fit in the air mattress. I put an air mattress in well, here. We had a beanbag chair at the bottom. She could have fit in that beanbag chair. Yeah. <laughs> but it's okay. Mm -hmm. Just the boys. What are you thankful for? You, Mom. I'm thankful for you too, buddy. <laughs> have a good night. You too. I'm leaving it all Glory of your love Your name I give you all I got to give on To the day Take the cross And follow you Wherever you may go You're my all in all um, Just to let my joints Kind of rest a little bit in my my knee and my shoulder has been killing me since before I started working out. Um, trying to get into mobility stuff. You know, Shella keeps sending me um, some mobility exercises that she keeps finding online. If anyone out there has any suggestions for mobility coaches on YouTube, let me know. Just to help with the joint and stuff like that. I know mobility is really good for that stuff. Um, anyway, let's go. We're about to start. The cycle again with P90X, about to do chest and back. See you at the end for the encouragement. guys it's a beautiful rainy day here um, it's a little loud behind me because they're clearing trees from um, the storm that we had um is it hailing i think it was a lot of trees came down in our property we got hit pretty hard but um we were all safe and sound i'm gonna go ahead and read a bible verse that i got here it's in james 2 and it's for just as uh james 2 26 for just as the human body without the spirit is dead so faith without works of obedience is also dead. I want you to take a moment, marinate on that. Just comment on this video right now. 
what does that Bible verse speak to you? I know for me, it speaks on those seasons of waiting. Those seasons of waiting where nothing nothing seems to be going right. You know, we just walked out of a really, really hard season. Um, and in this season, there was times that I was stuck. I was honestly stuck. And I think a lot of the things that kept me stuck was... Um, Unbelief, trust, do I really trust you, God? I think a lot of the works, you know, faith without works is dead. A lot of the the actually obedience part is affected by our view of who God is. And we've talked about this many times. You know, many of you guys are standing for marriage. Many of you guys are going through really hard seasons in your family's life. Nothing looks the way it's supposed to. As humans, a lot of times we like to have things planned out. But he directs us by his step. He directs us by his words, right? The works are affected by your view of who God is and what you believe him to be. Many of us get frozen. Many of us don't actually step into a place of obedience because we're afraid. Or because things are not lined up. Or because it looks too impossible. James says that when our faith is tested. We should be asking for wisdom. A lot of times we fail to ask for wisdom. And we tend to try to fix it on our own. Or we, we start doing it on our own strength. I think it's a beautiful dance guys. There's Grace. He's an awesome dad. And I think the more we realize how good and awesome he is, the easier it will become for us to take those leaps of faith and actually step into a place of obedience. That when things look impossible, when, thing, when people are telling you it is impossible, look, nothing has changed, you're able to say, like my wife said, my situation hasn't changed, but I have changed. The I have changed comes from not a place of waiting, doing nothing. The I have changed comes from a place of actually applying obedience. Her obedience looked like, okay, God, give me wisdom. How do I pray? What do you want me to do? And actually partnering up with God on the situation. There are things in our lives right now that we are like, man, it's impossible. How can we do this? You know what? But actually taking steps of faith. He is saying for us to transition in the season of our lives. Okay. The place he's asking us to move to. We don't really know anyone there. Okay. Guess what I'm doing? I'm buying boxes. And I'm going to start packing. I'm not going to wait around. I'm actually going to buy boxes. And that's a practical example on, on how to actually do the works. Be obedient. Many of us have a hard time because we don't truly believe that he's speaking to us. Or sometimes we question, did he really speak to, to me? The situation hasn't changed. Did he really speak to me? And we, we tend to quit too early. But like James says, when your faith is tested, right? In this world, you will have troubles. Man, ask for wisdom. And act upon those things. Don't don't question. A lot, a lot of us question, question, question. But the moment the enemy brings a lie to us, we believe it right away. Right away. We put it down. Okay, I'm a failure. I'm a failure. I'm a failure. No. No, God is good. I trust God that you asked me to do this. So I'm going to move forward with this. And I trust you enough that if, my, if I'm making a mistake, you are so good to get my attention. And you will turn it around for me. I'd rather be in that place of him having to turn something around for me than just being frozen because situations are tough. I'm done with that. See, I've been there. The last past five years, I was there. In this place of fear of like, man, I can't get out of here, but I can't do this, but I can't do that. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm. 
I'm just going to be real. I am done with that. I'm done with that. Either we grow in maturity with God or we don't. And the only way we grow in maturity with God is by actually taking steps of faith. When things look impossible, you do it anyway, knowing that the God of the universe lives inside of you. And you are called to be kings and priests in this earth. You are the son of the most high God. And if he asked you to stand for your marriage, guess what? Stand. No matter what this person says, no matter what this person says, no matter what this person says. Because it's how you work your faith and you grow in maturity in the hard seasons of your life. I've done a lot of remembering lately. Because we did walk out of a really hard season. We've been transparent about it. And a lot of times, there's this beautiful thing when you actually grow in this maturity with Him and you actually have this history with God that you have pinpoints in your timeline that you go go back to and be like, oh, you've done it again. You've done it back then, you would do it again. You're a faithful God. And a lot of us need to have that time of just remembrance. Just even right now, I, I encourage you in the comments right now, Write something amazing that God has done for you. Let's be thankful today on the things that he's done for you. Let's ask him for bonus in the seasons that we are in. I'll give you a perfect example. Our film projects. I know for a fact that God spoke to us about those film projects. Been fundraising for years. Well, actually, we, we put it down. Because there was a season where I was like, man, God, did you really talk to me about that? But guess what? He did talk to me about that. And I am taking the steps forward to do that. And I know that these projects will impact a lot of lives and we're actually going to get them done. He is going to make a way. And we're going to continue to take steps of faith. Steps of faith. Inviting you guys to give. Steps of faith. Buying more equipment. Setting up interviews. Doing pre-production meetings. Step of faith. Steps of faith. I'm, I'm, I'm going through the... the the screenplay saying, oh God, what are you saying? Because you were still writing our story. Our story wasn't done. Mm. What are you saying? See, that is works. That is actually moving forward. That's not being like, oh man, it's been so many years. It's not going to get done. No, it is going to get done. And you're going to keep moving forward. And I'm going to keep believing. And I'm going to keep writing. And I'm going to keep prepping. And I'm going to keep setting up. And I'm going to keep looking for, for the actors that I need. And I'm going to keep looking for locations. And I'm going to keep looking for that one lens that I want. And I want to keep looking for that microphone that I need. And that light that I need. And I'm going to add it to that shopping cart. And I'm going to pray for that shopping cart. And I'm going to keep moving forward. And I'm going to keep reaching out to people that I want to interview for this documentary. And I'm going to... That's what it looks like. And, and you got to understand that God is so good. You know, David, I, I've said that before and I'll keep saying it. David was known after God's, a man after God's own heart. And he was known not just because of his obedience, because he knew the character of who God was. And the more we know his character, the more we're able to step into places of obedience. I honestly think that the best kind of worship is obedience. And I also dare to say that there's times that we take steps of faith when he has an access to. And he looks upon us. And it's like, look at that worthless child of mine taking steps without me telling him. No, he'll look down and be like, hey, Gabriel, we're going to have to go help Armando. He took a leap of faith. He thought it was me. But it's okay. Let's turn it around for him. Because I know his heart. And I know he wants to please me. I honestly believe that's his heart for his children. That's his heart for his children. So I want you to take a moment right now. Go to the comments of this video. And I want you to bombard it with thankfulness of the things that he's done for you. I want you to also, I want you, <laughs> I can't even speak. I want you, I want you to also put in the comments things that you're believing for right now. And I want, I want all of us to gather and pray for every single comment as a community. Love you guys. See you in the next video. All right, so just finished my camping buddy. Right here. Hey. He just came in. I just woke up. He came in with some, some news. So he created a YouTube channel. This boy is extremely smart. 
uh, I went to his room one day, he figured out how to create a game and 3D world, and I have no idea. Ethan, come here. Come here. So he figured out on his own how to do a YouTube channel. And he has a YouTube channel now where he does a lot of funny stuff, teaches people how to play games. What's the name of your channel? It's GTVR. Uh, come here so people can hear you. What's the name of your channel? It's GTVR. So it's at GTVR1213. All right, so if you have any boys or girls yeah. that want to know about gaming and all that kind of stuff and want to laugh, some wholesome stuff, my little man created a YouTube channel. <laughs> I love him. Go subscribe.